This is the equipment for the bulbs and power lab for the first part. We've got our optical bench, photoresistor box, multimeter, light bulbs and holders, and an extra light bulb. I have a CFL bulb plugged in and at zero centimeters. I have a 40 watt incandescent bulb at 100 centimeters. Both of those are plugged into a power strip that is plugged into the silver outlet, which is a full line voltage. The photoresistor box also plugged into the silver outlet and connected to the multimeter, which is plugged into a silver outlet on the other side. When we actually do the experiment, the room lights will be off. And so the photoresistor bulb photoresistor box tells you at what point you have equal intensity striking both sides by outputting a zero voltage. And so you'll move it back and forth looking for that point of zero voltage. You can see it go from positive on one side to negative on the other. You want to find that spot where you're measuring zero, and it'll fluctuate a little bit, so you want it to be bouncing around positive and negative on either side. Once you've found the spot that you think most accurately represents zero, write down the number, have your lab mates slide it off to the side and then bring it back and make their own null measurement, and then average the three numbers. You'll need the position down to the submillimeter accuracy so that you can calculate the distance between each bulb and the photodiode box, photoresistor box. Also, take off the shield and measure the width of the box and subtract half of that width from each distance. When you're actually doing the experiment, make sure you have the shield on there to help prevent stray light from other tables coming in. Once you have that equal intensity spot, you can measure the electrical power that each bulb is use, using with a kilowatt meter. So unplug it from the power strip, plug it in, and the kilowatt can read the voltage or the current currently being drawn do that for both bulbs. Again, voltage, current. And then you have the luminosity and the electrical power from each bulb. Once you've done that, you can calibrate your 60 watt bulb, turn off your 40 watt bulb, let it cool for a moment, then use a paper towel or something else to protect your hand unscrew the 40 watt bulb from its socket. Replace that 40 watt bulb with the 60 watt bulb and again calibrate the luminosity of your 60 watt bulb and get the electrical power of both. <laughs>